go, people. It's Sunday. I hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. And stay safe out there in this COVID world. Okay. Now to you Steam Deck fans. You guys are getting spoiled. <laughs> but anyway, look. Uh, Valve uh, is funding our GPU driver testing. Listen to this. And this is and this is and this is in advance for future games that are coming down the pipeline. Listen to this article. It says here, uh, Steam Deck creators fund further testing on open source Radeon Linux graphics, Linux GPU drivers. <laughs> anyway, it says here, Valve creators of the newest Steam Deck handheld to release this year is financing further continuous integration. CI testing for Mesa commit and Radeon driver testing. This information is welcoming for Linux users, but also for Steam Deck players. Yeah, we talking about you, you Steam Deck players that play video games. <laughs> anyway, says here, uh, Mesa receives additional financing for, for Valve for further Steam Deck Radeon Linux driver testing. Charlie Turner, a programming consultant for Elgalia, created a merge request today on free desktop Mesa site for more additional DEQP runners. Ilgalia is an open source consultant agency that specializes in growth of innovative projects and solutions. The request shows Valve involvement in overseeing further AMD Linux driver testing. Valve uses Radeon graphics in their systems and it would stand that Valve would want to make sure their newest handheld would be as compatible as possible. That means they're doing testing in advance for what are whatever games that comes into the future. You get it? Anyway, Steam Deck. <laughs> anyway, it <laughs> says here, the DEQP runner of the Draw, Draw Element Quality Program incorporate tests for numerous graphics API, including OpenGL, ES, e EGL, and Vulkan. The testing of graphics API has been crucial for Mesa continuous integration testing for securing unstable commits that don't reach machine, I mean mainline Mesa for retrogressing OpenGL slash Vulkan graphics API actions. Then it says here, uh, Mesa, Mesa CI testing for the AMD Radeon Linux graphics driver as shown restrained by the number of hardware system they have committed, including ones capable of testing new Mesa, Mesa merge requests and creating fixes immediately. Valve's backend will assist in forwarding the process in detecting further issues eff efficiently and effectively. This process allows for efficiency without slowing the creation of patches that may still be waiting for testing before releasing the driver publicly. Says here, uh, Valve's new CI Bear Mental runners are fully Radeon based, so understandably the company is requesting additional tests, especially that Valve direction with the new Steam Deck gaming system featuring AMD Radeon graphics, including includes open source drivers that focus on Rad V Vulcan works. The continuing testing new features Navi Navi 2, System Cabini, Stony, Polaris, Vega, and Renor series. And that's the end of the article. So Valve is just um preparing for what's coming down. What this is is just preparing for any issues in the future. When it comes to running games on the Steam Deck, so Valve is putting putting their money where their mouth is, and said, "Okay, we're gonna back this up. We're not gonna just sit on the sideline and be like, just to sit there and not do anything, you know." So this is in preparation in advance for all the other games that are coming. So uh, you know, there's a, like the commercial. There was a commercial that I used to uh, listen to. It says, "Disasters do happen. Be prepared." So. What Valve is doing is preparing for any issues that comes comes down and comes down in the weeks to come or the months to come or years to come when playing games on the Steam Deck. So this is for the Steam Deck gamers and 
this will be uh this is a good news to hear so it will make the steam deck fans happy <laughs> anyway says here one more look i think one more little piece of article here it says here this it says below the statement was turner explanation of valve request for additional testing on free desktop said the series uh proposed to add more deqp bare mental runners sponsored sponsored by valve for now the runners are conditioned on a selection of users similar to how free Drino restricted traces work since there are not enough machines to hit the mach the runtime target required inclusion in automatic pre-merge pipelines there's nothing secret about the test load the restriction is purely practical for now and any interested user may request access to the runners so um, this is like I said this is just improving improving on the infrastructure of the steam deck and they're just making preparation like I told you you know in the days to come weeks to come months to come and years to come with the steam deck so they're the, they're, 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 they're fully on board they're fully on board with the Steam Deck. So Valve is, like I said, putting their money where their mouth is and pushing through and, and following up, following up, following up on whatever, uh, following up on their on their Steam Deck and making their consumers happy. So they're taking this thing very seriously. So, um, you know, this was good news to hear. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to leave a link in the description box with this article. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, it's still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing.